Now, respecting religious faith or encouraging discrimination. Human rights campaigners are protesting against the body that represents the country's universities after it said men and women could be segregated in certain situations. But the guidance from UK universities has infuriated some students, as our culture and digital editor Paul Mason now reports. This was the moment one academic snapped. Professor Lawrence Krauss had come to debate Islam versus atheism, but not in front of a segregated audience. The clash dramatized a problem that's been quietly building on campuses. Islamist students insisting on meetings that separate men and women. Now, the body that represents universities has ruled, in certain circumstances, the Muslim right to segregate trumps women's right to sit where they want. So tonight, protesters in London likened that to apartheid, saying colleges are putting fees from Middle Eastern students above rights for all. They're relying more and more on international, wealthy international students, and that means they don't care about things like human rights. It is reduced to money. In a highly convoluted document, Universities UK issued guidelines that said Muslim students can invite an external speaker to any British university and impose segregation between men and women. Others can insist on having a non-segregated area, but not if that curtails the freedom of speech of the Muslim students. Their religious freedom comes above the freedom of other people to sit where they like. But they can only segregate side by side, not front to back. Just say no. But campaigners want all segregation stopped. They say it's changing the atmosphere on campus. Uh, we do get contacted by students who say they wanted to oppose it but felt threatened uh, and not able to do so. And what this sort of segregation does is bring a whole climate of fear, intimidation, and one that says if you oppose it, you're violating people's right to belief. The Muslim group that organised the UCL meeting last March was thrown off campus. Today, its spokesperson insisted all they want is choice. If somebody insisted on sitting in a particular gender-only section by way of protest or by way of uh, making an obnoxious point, then we would, we would not stop the meeting, but we would actually be obliged, actually, uh, to, to, to tell, ask that person to sit in the what mixed section. What gives you the right to bring this kind of medieval religious view into universities that are based on logic and learning? Well, you know what? It, it's not actually a medieval uh, religious view. This is actually something which is probably the most liberal and progressive piece of legislation that is enshrined in the Equality Act 2010, where we have to provide for those people, they call it providing access. Universities UK said their guidance is not prescriptive, mainly hypothetical, and leaves colleges open to reject segregation on grounds other than free speech.